hello guys welcome back to our channel new video today we're not happy about that video because this car my 2015 escalade has been sitting like this for almost a week and the reason is something stupid depending on if you depend when you engineering anything and depend on technology 100% that what happened so what happened here we have a problem with an electronic brake the parking brakes like it doesn't want to release you can see guys it's flashing here that park the park sign and there is a, a park or park braking service light when I push the button nothing happens nothing to change at all back to our problem again that electronic parking brake thing is has an issue let me tell you guys when that happened you cannot even move your car to your garage to work inside it lock the rear plate completely you cannot move with car and inch yes you can give it more gas and just gonna move but you're gonna damage something for sure so gm or cadillac when they did that system in their car they got stupid because they didn't make an override manually like you cannot override that problem manually you cannot release your parking brake manually i called them talk to their technicians the only thing they say to it to us you know what guys cadillac gear is less than two miles from here and i cannot drive my car to them i need to tow my car to them to find out what's wrong but anyway we're not gonna do this today uh it was the i think monday night when that happened so when i came back from work went in underneath the car we found uh one of the cables is damaged i'm not sure if that is a problem or the module is a problem or what is a problem that's my driver's side here underneath here you can see that cable here it's rusted and it's very bad but i'm not sure if this is a problem or no and uh, i have a feeling it's gonna be something more than just the cable because when you hit the button you cannot hear like the motor want to do anything actually when you hit the button to engage it it makes some noise but when you hit the button to release it it's completely dead i was reading about if there is any way you can reset that module i did everything push the brake push the button for a few seconds push the push the button back and forth again a car on engine on all of this i tried everything and nothing is work i removed the fuse i also disconnected the battery everything so no solution to reverse that problem so we're gonna go together find out what's the problem is it the cable is it the module something else i already ordered the cable this one the damaged one i ordered also the other cable so there's two cables and i ordered the module <laughs> another funny thing you go to the dealer the module is about 450 dollars same module same number on amazon prime came here in two days that's another thing the dealer told me about a week or 10 days came here in two days for 200 dollars less than half of their price and came right away uh same for the cables the cable is not much different in the price 30 something bucks 20 something from amazon so it's not that much difference but the module itself is like was a big difference in the price and also in um in the delivery date so we have everything even if you want to change the whole system will do but let's hope for less work we got to try uh, my friend actually went to the dealer and was speaking with them when he went to get the price and uh, they told him if you can release a cable from the module that should release your uh, your brake the parking brake thing and then we can move the car so we gotta try to do that first so it's I know it's sunny and and uh, hot today 
uh, but uh, thank God didn't happen in winter and snowy and freezing temperature. Uh, still, we can live and work and fix the issue here, even if we cannot release it and move it to the garage inside. But you can imagine, guys, if that happened in a snow day, that would be a... Uh, or, or in winter in general, with the freezing temperature, that would be, uh, like, hard to do without, like, have a ticket to the garage or ticket to the dealer. So again, that's um, I think a stupid in engineering and depending on technology to control your your car or make the technology take over completely without having an override for everything that simply can be like any simple mechanism can be added to that so you can easily override that electronic parking problem. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna jack the car up or no, it's, it's uh, already high up. So uh, we'll go underneath the car and see what we can do. Okay, before uh, we start doing anything, I just want to mention there's two different, I think only two, there's two different uh, types of these electric brakes. Uh, one of them is like what we have here is one module, then two cables go to each side and is um, like here we have a shoe, so it's not like a caliber. The other system which is you have two modules attached directly to your caliber. So caliber work as your emergency brake or parking brake. So in our case, it's only one module that control uh, the cables that go to the shoes and uh, the module also control some other things. Um, and uh, we're gonna have to take, we're gonna put the, the spare tire down so we can have more access to all the cables and everything. So let's start with this one. So to get access to your spare tire, you have to remove the uh, hitch cover. There's two like tabs there, unscrew it. Then you just pull up like this. So it's remove these two, unscrew these two kind of taps or screws and just like move it up okay and uh, we have that cover here we're gonna remove it so we can ac get access to um, the inside and start lower our uh, spare tire here's supposed to be your uh, jack uh, if you want to lift the car up anyway if we're gonna uh, lift the car up we're not gonna use that jack anyway and uh, there's some fuses here okay but the main fuse for the for the module is in the front okay so we're gonna need these uh arms here so we can uh, move our spare tire or lower it so let's uh, get these uh Metal bars kind of thing. Alright, to remove the uh, e-brake module, it's covered with this shield, which is it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten millimeters bolts. Seven. There is three, oh, seven? three for the bracket and four that hold the bracket to the module. Oh, so, so there is four, okay. Yeah. So, yes, like you see here, there's one, two, three, four, the module and the shield, and one, two, three, the shield and the frame. So you remove everything just to remove the shield. They're all 10, 10 millimeters. Remove the shield. Once you remove the shield, now your module exposed. And as you see, the harness comes from this side and the uh, brake cable comes out of this side and it comes as just one it goes all the way to the driver's side and right above his head right there there is a bifurcation this one is going to go to the left side this one is going to continue to the right side the other side of the caliber so technically it's electric e brake but at the same time it's mechanical uh, like he explained at the beginning, there's two kinds of e-brakes. So this one is electric mechanical and this nut, let me put it back in place. Um, if it's tight, you can just, uh, I believe it's 19. Um, just know, use a wrench, yeah, use a wrench, but hand, yeah, so. this way it was not tight. 
so you just once you release it that's the connection but in our situation the e-brake is stuck on so everything is pulled so it will be really hard to actually disengage this right now for security we're gonna i'm gonna put that back just in case um anything will pop so nothing will hurt us uh and believe me the tension on these cables is massive so so you have to be careful with this yeah so we're gonna start by cutting that bad wire as i mentioned in uh, the beginning of the video then we'll see actually if the module is gonna work or no right yeah because if you see the bifurcation here the tension from this part and this part comes from the separation of these two pieces so if we got this one loose it might closer this one to get that loose get it closer to the end which is it will make everything loose in this situation we can actually start working because the brake will be released yeah but i'm hoping for this <laughs> yeah we hope that nothing wrong with the module so we will return it with no problem <laughs> and will be just only that cable issue but if we cut that and we still have no response from the module then at that point we're gonna have to change okay? yeah Okay. and just to let you know guys the module at the dealer i already you already mentioned yeah. it because it was a big difference in prices dude yeah okay so right. we have what to cut the uh, bow cutter it's okay. that's gonna be your best friend in a situation like that okay. <laughs> and i'm gonna do it while both of us outside not underneath the car just in case if anything pops we'll leave the camera so camera. we'll leave the camera but <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be cutting right here okay okay I can adjust it. I think so. Yep. This is a car in park and not in neutral, so just in case if. Uh... If the brake release is not gonna roll back or roll forward or anything. No. cut that cable and we're gonna go inside the car so that uh, module will send any signal or not. All right. So what I expected it was right once we cut the cable right here that's just the uh, sleeve but the cable itself is cut uh, it releases the pressure from the tension from this part which is it causes these two parts to get closer to each other and we got in the car and we released the hand brakes in this situation the module works and it released it so both brakes now is released so the whole situation happened because that bad cable this this one because it was rusted and bad okay all right guys that's the new cable this part is going to be in the caliber so at the caliber right now this one it looks like this is it caliber or just a shoe lock it's mechanism? actually because uh, I, I know that it, the car it's, has a shoe inside. It has a shoe, so yeah, it's, connected, like, um, it's connected to the shoe. Yeah. I didn't know. I wasn't with you when you changed the brakes for this one. But it's it's connected to, which is part of the caliber. It's latch. It's like Something a latch. latch it's, yeah. it's like this now. There's a hook in here and like this. So once you release the tension, you can actually pull it and you just release it from the hook. I'm going to show you. In the real life but it's kind of tight because we're not removing the wheel and the other side this one has one nut it's in the back of the frame and this one goes through to the connection mm -hmm. to the big cable what you're gonna do I'm gonna show you exactly how it works there is a piece of metal it's like this it has a groove and it has a big hole you get that in the hole you lean it in the groove and it latches this way so when you start pulling it with the module it will pull the big cable and the big cable it will pull that one as well so let's start with the let's start show you first this part yeah because we get the knot seems to be rusted there yeah so i'm gonna so... put some penetrating oil on it and let it soak for a few minutes yeah so where is that it's right here that's the connection between the big cable and the small cable that's the small cable we're changing and that's the nut right here okay let me try to get a bearing okay 
it's gonna drip so watch your eyes so that's where we gonna it's right between like so that's the, the spare main... tire is right here yeah that's the main cable right yes that's the main cable okay that's the one that's coming from the module okay and that's here our broken that's the branch yes the branch is right here and that's the piece of metal i was oh, talking that about will go in inside yes. here and that's here is the, the nut the nut for that bracket yes so let's watch your see. eyes Let it soak for a few minutes. Okay. All right. I'll give the light. Here's the spring right here. Let me get closer. Okay, here we go. The spring, and that's the hook I was talking about. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna try to loosen that because it, apparently these two pieces, they're fixed, like. So that's what we're gonna do. Get this one close, like this. Try to compress that spring and unhook this end i'm gonna try to put the camera on the top while i'm working all right i made another cut to the cable this is an old cable so i don't worry about it so what i'm gonna do is just twist it get it out so i got the sleeve out and that spring what i'm gonna do because like i told you that's an old cable so it's gonna be changed so it doesn't matter all right so what we're gonna do is just gonna keep going keep going till I pull the whole cable out now it's clear I'm gonna throw that spring out and that's the piece I was telling you about see that cable it's you twist it this way and you pull it out uh -huh. it's all right it's gonna go it goes this way let me show you it goes this way but you're gonna need to wiggle it a little so you can actually put it through here, like this, okay? Now we're gonna connect the, old, the new cable. First, the new cable came with this piece, so we're gonna get this piece out. Uh, I believe it's, uh, I'm gonna break this one, but this the other one, one uh, it will be push. Yeah, two, two tabs. Yeah. The other one's gonna be pushed, but I'm gonna break this one. I'm not gonna spend time just to get it out quick. Correct. Um, that's it. So we're gonna start putting the new one, and that's the rest of the old cable. We're gonna clear it, and like we told you, we're gonna take this nut out, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to feed this one inside here. Okay? All right. Actually, he's gonna try to get it out just to, 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 to show himself or to show ourselves how to get it out so we can actually know how to put the old one in and the new one in okay so you can explain to them yeah there is uh, two tabs here that they are in front of I can show them that in the new yeah I'll show you you all what you need to do is just try to press on it so I'm gonna get a long nose plier and try to press and just push back so like this okay I got the camera Yep. Okay. Come That's off. It. It's out, so we don't have to break it. But anyways, the two tabs he was talking about, they're right here. This one, there's two. Okay. No, this one. Okay. Oh, actually, that's a very good point. It's very easy one. <laughs> it's a very good point, actually. It's this knot, guys, not this one. This one is for the big cable. This one is for the the one closer to the driver. So the one uh, in the back, the rear of the car is for the drive for the passenger side. The one toward the front of the car. It's the one for the driver. Driver. Side. A lot of thrust. <laughs> Yeah, guys, watch out. The rust can fall on your eyes, so yeah. wear some eye protection. Do whatever to keep yourself safe. I think I'm gonna get this car for these places where they spray. They spray the anti rust, yes. Yeah. It's not bad, but it's started. Right. So Once again, that's yeah. an old cable, so it can go out. 
but um, let me get it out just to show you what's the idea behind that piece of the cable we have to release it from here yeah, yeah. Maybe what you do you bend it down through that groove and try to make it as straight as possible then you get that watch your finger okay maybe sometimes it's kind of tight so you can actually have to make it but actually it fits yeah. so it is tight which is it has to be tight that's that's it holds a lot of tension oh. that's a lot of rust a lot of dust not rust it's more rust more dust than rust all right so now we're gonna start putting the new one we're gonna put the new one in an in the order of this end first, then the other end. To be honest, uh, I'm not sure if that's the right order or not, but I'm gonna try to put it this way. First, you're gonna feed it through this. Then you go up front and, and this plate, that's where the knot goes. And this plate, this plate actually rests here over here and that's where this screw is gonna go for the nut to meet it from that side so let's try to put that over there so what I'm gonna do just get as much as length from the cable so I can actually put it around here all right what I did guys is I twisted it that all the way and you just keep wiggling till it goes in and that's how it's supposed to go in then you push the spring then you put the spring at this end right here compress it put it right here let's, see, let's get the camera from the other side the other so side of the yeah, we'll show you the spring okay. okay here i think here should be good here's good i wish <laughs> okay uh, let me see i can see it i can see it it's right here like this yeah okay so what you do, you hold the spring, compress it, put it on the other side of that part, bracket, bracket. then you try to aim this plastic piece to go mm. and Just push, push yeah. it, and they, you make sure the spring on the other side is around the plastic piece. It is. It is? Alright. Yeah. So now, that's our cable. Like we said, we're gonna feed it. So there is a, like a kind of latch or hook here. So you make sure you pass your cable through it. And then the cable goes here. Make sure you feed it. When we're trying to connect the cable from that, this side, it's so short. So what we figured out, that's the module we disconnect it from the harness and there's a actually there's one point i will explain to you when we're connecting it to be careful when you're uh, trying to disconnect the harness um here's the module we can, from the you, same side of you can do that without disconnected it's it's easier from the outside yeah. I, I don't know you can do it yeah there's actually there's a space for it in there but it's uh, i rather just sit down and do it yeah so from the same side of the module where the cable comes out, there's a rubber piece here. Pull it out, it's a pull out, and there's inside, you can see a gear. That gear, it has an Allen key right in the middle of it. And the size of the Allen key is four and a half millimeter. So what you do, you go with the Allen key and you try to, swing, to twist that gear clockwise. So you can actually release this cable from the inside out. It's gonna take a lot of turns. It's not, it's not like a couple turns. It's, it's gonna be a lot. So just make sure you go clockwise. All right, you keep twisting clockwise this gear and the more you twist, the more it goes down 
so that the gear goes down and this piece starts to show up with the end of the cable so you get it enough to actually be enough to release it now the module is disconnected from the cable and the cable pushed all the way that will give us enough space there to actually connect the a small cable yeah that will give more space here so we can connect right all right yep. let me get the other side again the small cable okay now we uh we're gonna just tighten that 10 millimeter bolt and then try to attach the cable to that bracket right Okay, here we go. So we pushed that side all the way in. I pulled from here to give him the more sleeve. space. Yeah, the sleeve. More. You don't need to push the wire, you need to push the sleeve so you can compress the spring the other side a little bit. And you go straight in. I think it showed good in the. I hope the, so. I just okay. <laughs> Anyways, if, if it didn't show that good, uh, just send us some comments and I will try to uh, draw a diagram and send it to you guys. But it's, it's, it needs a little bit pulling. So now we're gonna connect the module back. All right, now we have enough cable to put it back here. And it's a slide and these two plastic tabs they go on the both grooves like this make sure you don't break these tabs and all right guys I want to be honest with you we looked and looked and looked how to override or release stuck emergency brakes in this car we couldn't find anywhere even the dealer i don't know maybe they they yeah. lied so i mentioned stuck in. <laughs> in the beginning of the video that we asked the dealer is there is any way we can override that so we can drive the car to the shop i was going to drive it to them uh to figure out what's wrong but they told me no no you, there is no way you have to do it and uh that gear here or whatever we use to release the tension actually might be the mechanical override for if you have a failed uh, module yes it, 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 i think it will work if it's the module itself is failed but in our situation it won't do anything because the stuck it was inside the cable at least but at least release the at, tension in general maybe so in our situation we cannot confirm 100 percent that's an override but if you have a bad module it's worth a try yeah ah. anyways to to actually tension it back we're gonna go counterclockwise just to pull that wire down and hopefully it will show it's it moves slow it takes a lot of turns and my allen key it's a little bit tall so it keeps hitting it's going down. are we gonna keep going all the way down or just for that i would i would i would connect it and see maybe the car will pull it itself And make sure guys there's two o-rings one here and one there make sure they're okay don't it's just hand tight don't squeeze it it's very hard uh and it's it's gonna pull it back inside and show you go connect your harness so if you want to remove your harness make sure it make sure when you put it back it clicks okay so to remove it you just like press here and take your harness out we got it and take it out okay but you pull it back make sure it clicks in all the way now it's good and that tab white piece just go like this 
if so you to want take to it out. It, you need to push in the middle and pull. Uh, can you point towards the push? You see that middle piece here? Push down, then get another uh, flat end screwdriver. And you and pull it this way. Pull this way. Okay. Like this, like push. You can try keep it pushed, but I don't want to break it. Yeah, don't break it. So just like a little bit by a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this this kind of plastic is very sensitive, yeah. very delicate. So. So I, I, I will show it to you. You just need to keep pushing here and pull out a little bit by a little bit. Do you need another? Yeah, we have right? another one. That's right. Okay. So push here, pull out. Like this. <laughs> okay. So just be careful. Again, these are take very, your time. very fragile, will break easy. Okay, just so take back your time and, and just put it back in. That's how you remove it, that's how you put it back in. So now we're gonna put the bracket, or we're gonna try first before we put the we're bracket? Gonna try, no, we're gonna try it first. Okay. It's on! Release it! Is it released? As you notice guys the first time he pulled it that module worked a little bit longer than usual because it was making up that distance we pulled it so technically it adjusts itself now one last step before we put the shield don't forget to put that rubber that piece of rubber you can just a very tiny drop of oil or it will make it slide really good so now he's putting the shield back and I think that will be it. Yeah, I'm gonna attach at least two screws to the module, two of the bolts to the module to hold everything together. Then uh, we'll work the other uh, three. three ones that hold the bracket in place. Uh, make sure you lift this one up all the way before you tighten the top ones because this one is gonna move the whole thing So you tighten this one down here first? Yes, because it, it's gonna shift the whole thing. Okay That's it All right, and just a quick look at everything that we didn't forget anything Cable looks smooth. All the brackets in place. Do you want to tighten this down? It's tight. Other cable is fine. Spare tire cable. This cable is good. No, that's it. Okay. Let's put the spare tire back and just uh, we'll give it a. I will go drive it just to make sure when I come back everything is gonna be holding tight and we'll be back. Alright guys, now it's going out to uh, test it 
and see if everything works it's gonna push it a few times but uh, that's it for this job and like we mentioned um, it's not confirmed but that gear it could be the override mechanical uh, for the module just in case if your module is the problem all right uh, he figured out an issue <laughs> actually my first time to know that if you have your brake bar park brake park brake on and you go to your car uh, it won't latch actually and you start like it's holding now but once you hit start the gas it, it will release, release itself? automatic and we'll show a message here like brake park release look at this guys you see park brake release that's my first time to know that <laughs> so you don't fry your brakes ah yeah <laughs> but even when it's locked and we try it, <laughs> it oh that was different yeah right? it, didn't, was... it didn't even want to move but now like without let's, like let's do it again yeah so now it's in, in neutral and the park park brake set yeah and the car is not moving my driveway is kind of tilted back a little bit so if if there is no brake it will move back okay and now i'm just gonna put my foot on brake and move it to drive it's not gonna go anyway actually yes so now the message say park brake set and the car is not going anywhere but once i start to push my gas it will release it and then we'll show you the message of that park brake release okay cool that's good to know <laughs> yeah so everything is working now everything's good it's a relief it's been sitting for a week and uh they want us to tow it to them and all of this and what it ended up 35 dollars yeah and so, the cable we got it from uh we got from uh otizone 35 dollars so, yeah it's the same as the delco yeah it's ac delco is a very good parts for gm yeah um and that's this, that's the same brand they sell it at the dealer yes it is and it was for how much at the dealer for uh, something this cable it was 48 dollars so no no big difference in the cable but as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the big difference was the video which is we didn't have to change it or anything uh just like again fix it for 35 dollars uh we're gonna return the module we're gonna return the other cable the other cable is good there is no like exposed parts or anything yeah i checked so uh that's good too uh i'm happy and i wish at the beginning i mentioned how stupid the engineering if you're gonna depend only on technologies and and electronics and if they design that tab that we release that gear, yeah. yeah that will be like i mentioned earlier it's, it's it's not confirmed but it could be a good start if your module is back it's bad yeah then i will say they they engineer right but the dealers they don't want to tell oh, you they, this they, 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 they just don't want to tell us <laughs> yeah i think if i if if i able to tow the car to them the first thing they're gonna do i think just release that cable to see what's going on <laughs> yeah. right that way so again we're not gonna charge you a hundred dollars per hour <laughs> just just to find out what's wrong yes <laughs> so um uh, I wish that will be helpful for you guys if you guys are stuck in our situation or a situation like us um, If you find it helpful, please uh, give us a thumb up subscribe to our channel and uh, now we can Move back to our motorcycle project <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much guys for watching and I uh, will see you in the next video